So, Leute, willkommen zum Metroid Avram. Und ihr habt es bereits gemerkt, im letzten Part wurde etwas zusammengeschnitten. Und zwar der Kampf gegen die Mutter. Ja, und das tut mir leid, aber es ging einfach nicht mehr anders. Und wir haben die Powerbombe. Endlich. Ja, und es ist mittlerweile, wurde er gesagt, der Kampf gegen die Mutter hat sehr, sehr viel Zeit in Anspruch genommen. Wirklich sehr, sehr viel Zeit. Und es gibt noch einen Zwischenpart und ich glaube, den werde ich aber dann ähm, sozusagen... Ja, wie lade ich denn... Ja, wie lade ich denn eigentlich hoch, ne? Na, ich würde sagen, da es ein ziemlich aggressiver Part ist, ähm, werde ich diesen Part als Bonuspart freischalten für euch. Denn, ja, das als richtigen Part zu bezeichnen, ich sag's euch gleich, wir haben, ich habe in dem Part nichts erreicht, ich habe mich nur unglücklich aufgeregt und ich habe überlegt, lösche ich ihn, lösche ich ihn nicht. Und kam zu der Entscheidung, ja gut, machst halt so eine Compilation, also ein Bonuspart drauf. Und da könnt ihr euch auf ziemlich aufreger freuen, denn ja, es ging mir wirklich echt auf die Nerven, der Kampf. Und wir haben endlich die Powerbombe. Wir haben endlich die Powerbombe. Easy. I won't come any closer until you say so. My name is Samus. I'm an independent bounty hunter. I know the situation here and I know how you must feel. I'm here to secure your safety. Come closer. What's your role at this facility? I'm responsible for all operations. My name is Madeline Bergman. Wait a minute. I met another woman who called herself Madeline Bergman. What's going on here? What you met was MB. She's an android. She was created with the intellectual data of Mother Brain and consequently developed Mother Brain's consciousness as well. What? The Federation's foolish plan. Mother Brain's rampage. Everything that happened here was just as Madeline, or rather MB, had told me. The person who sabotaged the system to stop MB's rampage and sent out the distress call had to be the person standing before me. It had to be Madeline Bergman. MB was the artificial intelligence originally developed to regenerate and control space pirate special forces. Because we wanted it to control these special forces through telepathy, we were forced to model its infrastructure after Mother Brain. At that time, MB didn't have a human form. Before long, we started to see the viability of creating Metroid clones. Once we did, MB started to take on her current shape. But why? Because we needed the first Metroid hatchling to recognize MB as its mother. She had to take on the form of a living thing. With that as our theoretical basis, we were able to create the ideal relationship with the Metroid. One that wasn't based on dominance or control. I remember the baby hatching before my eyes. When it attacked Mother Brain in order to save me, 
that was the result of the kind of ideal relationship they were trying to develop with MB. They found the perfect means of control and started propagating Metroids in Sector Zero. At the same time, they were conducting genetic manipulation experiments to create unfreezable Metroids. Apparently, the queen I met earlier was the first of these propagated Metroids to mature. They wanted to preserve her as a control specimen, so they had left her genes unaltered. The fact that she'd grow into a queen was something not even Madeline and her team could have predicted. Only special infants had the genetic coding to become queens. Once our MB was in a human form, she excelled. As an interface between us and them, her skills with personal interaction humanized her to a great extent. If my theory is correct, this is going Pass. to be a groundbreaking multi-system for artificial intelligence. Her confidence was unwavering, and her ability to learn was greater than we'd expected. But then, she developed emotions, then a nascent sense of herself. She began asserting her own thoughts, and her opinions began to contradict ours. It's quite typical for artificial intelligence to evolve as a result of self-analysis. However, there's no precedent for an AI like MB developing emotions. It's possible that her interactions with the Metroids brought it about, but we don't know for sure. The newly hatched infant took to her like his mother. And perhaps at that moment, MB began to develop a soul. It was all conjecture, but the idea wouldn't leave my mind. And that was when we decided to alter her AI program. A human-like existence, but one without feelings. To make MB less than human, the researchers had to deny her that consciousness. I knew this, but in my heart, I felt sympathy for MB. On the day we were going to alter MB's program, right before my eyes, I watched her being restrained. She reached out to me and asked me for help, but there was nothing I could do. What's happening? My presence that day caused a disturbing reaction in her. She was fixated on me. Madeline had taken to calling MB Melissa. She took the initials MB and told the AI they stood for oh, Melissa Bergman. It looks great on you. MB liked that name. It made it sound like Madeline was calling her her daughter. Once she felt abandoned and hunted by that same Madeline, MB telepathically commanded the special forces to revolt. The facility fell into complete chaos. And suffered widespread damage. <laughs> MB was trying to get revenge on the Federation Army. And on us. It's possible all humans have become the target of her hatred. With the space pirates under her control, she was able to propagate the Metroids in Sector Zero, even creating a Queen Metroid. She was well armed and planning her attack on the Galactic Federation. But Adam and I crushed her plan completely. And now, 
Who could guess where she was and what she planned next? She's backed into a corner. And her hatred is entirely focused on you and me right now. <gasps> MB! Wait, MB, calm down. Please listen. Madeline, step back. You... I mean, we were wrong. It's all over. Madeline! I was not wrong. The humans were foolish, and I was forced to bring judgment on them. And yet, because of you, I failed. You must understand the weight of your crime. You must pay the price for what you've done. Please, MB. We have to get past this. No. You will all be judged. It's okay now. I won't ever fail you again. I promise. I'm so sorry. Melissa. Holy moly, jetzt geht's aber richtig ab hier. Okay, schießen, 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 schießen. Einfach nur schießen. Bam! Bam! Oh, zu viel Action hier. Zu viel Action. Wir müssen alle Gegner hier besiegen. Okay, gut, mein Weg. Wow. Okay, ich glaube, es geht nochmal richtig zur Sache. Okay, gut. Nein, nicht gut. Ähm, schlecht.
Natürlich muss jetzt die Wiimote noch Probleme machen. Weil wir, glaube ich, fast vom Ende sind. Komm, einfach draufhalten. Einfach nur draufhalten. Was ist das? Ach so, Tarnmodus oder sowas. Keine Ahnung. Uh, geh weg. Draufhalten, draufhalten, draufhalten. Uh, Freunde, ihr kommt mir gerade ziemlich zu nah. Scheiße. Ah, okay, jetzt wird es nochmal spannend. Ich hoffe, ich krieg das hin. Ich sehe gerade kaum was. Vor allem habe ich gerade kaum Energie übrig. Ich hätte vielleicht vorher Energie tanken sollen, bevor ich das mache. So viel. Los hier! Ah, hätte ich mal echt Energie vorher getankt, bevor ich das mache. Mist, aufladen kann ich auch nicht mehr. Und das mit dem kleinen Rest Energie. Ach du Scheiße. Gar nicht. Ich sehe nichts. Okay, doch, man kann anscheinend nochmal auffüllen. Zwischendurch, aber... Scheiße, hätte ich meine Energie noch aufgefüllt. Also auf vollen Stand. Natürlich gerade jetzt muss die Wii Motor noch spinnen.
es ist zu viel los hier. Es ist auch geil, wenn ich gar nichts sehen kann. Hallo? Ich sehe nichts. Ich sehe überhaupt nichts. Ich kann so nicht sehen. Wie soll man denn so ordentlich schießen können, wenn man nicht sehen kann? Da kann man nicht ordentlich schießen. Man kann so einfach nicht ordentlich schießen. Muss das zum Ende nochmal kommen? Musste sowas wirklich zum Ende nochmal kommen? Ja, das Geile ist, ich habe nicht gespeichert vorher. Meine Energie ist down. Es ist doch zum Kotzen. Es ist doch gerade echt zum Kotzen. überleben oder was?
Die macht mich hier fertig. Ne. Leute, ich glaube, ich muss den Kack nochmal machen und nochmal speichern vorher, weil das... Toll. Das kann man ja auch wissen. Ah, super. Nochmal das Ganze. Wir sehen uns bei dem Part, wenn ich gespeichert habe. Und voll live ab. Bis dann.